This month marks one year since the community leaders unveiled the Change Center in East Knoxville. The idea came after 15 year old Xavion Dobson died shielding friends from gunfire. A year later, it's a symbol of safety and promise for young people within the community. As 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes reports, it also gives students hope for the future. This time last year, the Change Center opened in East Tennessee, and students in the community say its presence here matters. Welcome to the Change Center. Yeah. Yes! It's a story that starts with a lot of passion. I'm here in honor of Xavier Dobson. I'm his mother. And as more students walk through the doors. When it first opened. They felt that passion too. I don't know. It just looked fun, mm -hmm. like somewhere I would want to go. So when I put on my skates, I started skating mm -hmm. and I was like, oh yeah, this one, I might go again. Outside of a place where students can skate, climb and do their homework, Vine Middle Schooler Lestasia Goodman says it has a broader reach. Does it mean a lot to you to have that other place to go? Yeah. Why? Because it just keeps us out of trouble. And to her, that matters. It has like a lot of meaning to it, I have a lot of meaning behind it. Dante Daniel worked at the center in high school and as a college freshman, he comes back during the holidays. I could just come back to the Chain Center and just give them tips of what I learned from my process of transition from high school to college. So. 12 months ago as the center opened, raindrops hit the ground. Executive Director Nicole Chandler says that had some meaning too. Rain renews and rain revives. It's a theme of change, life and hope, young people say inspires them so much. I want people to know that the Chain Center, our message for the, for the um, environment, it is working. And as we enter a new decade, they want those who haven't been there to experience that too. Cause the Chain Center is just fun. It's somewhere you would wanna go. In Knoxville, Gabrielle Hayes, 10 News. Today is the last day for the Mission of Hope Blue Barrel Christmas campaign, but you can